What's up, guys? Welcome to Kara's Cucina. I'm Kara DeFalco. I've got a great guest here for you today. We have beauty and wellness expert Grace Gold, and she is going to be sharing a healthy crock pot recipe with us. Great food isn't just about good ingredients and knowing how to cook. It's about telling the story of the food. Grace, thanks so much for joining me in the Cucina this week. I really appreciate it. Talk to me a little bit about what we're making today. Yeah, so this is a healthy turkey chili veggie recipe. I love it. It's gluten-free, it's dairy-free, there are no beans in there and no garlic or onions. I have chronic migraines, so everything is very safe that I make for migraines, and onions and garlic can be a trigger, so this is even safe for my headache friends out there. I love it, I love it. That's great, yeah, you really took everybody into consideration just about. So we have our crock pot ready to roll. What are we gonna be adding in first off? So we're gonna do ground turkey first, okay. one pound. Um, and again, this is a healthy recipe, but maybe if you're cooking for some big guys, you can do two <laughs> pounds easily. It works really well for um, a much thicker chili. Okay. Um, we've got Rotel. I use uh, moderate, but you can do mild depending on how much heat you want in this chili. I've got Himalayan pink salt as well. If you don't know about Himalayan pink salt, it's a healthier salt. It's filled with minerals, so if you're going to use salt, it's a good one to use. I've got two uh, teaspoons of oregano, uh, two teaspoons of cumin, and if you don't do gar onion and garlic, that's actually a great substitute great to put swap. a lot more cumin in there, yes. I've got two teaspoons of paprika, one teaspoon of chili powder. You can use one to two teaspoons. If you don't like heat, you can skip it entirely. Uh, I've got a can of corn here. Um, I've got one red bell pepper, one large sweet potato, and I do a package of mushrooms. Now what's great is it's a very uh, forgiving recipe. So if you don't like any of these veggies, you can easily take it out. You can also easily put anything in. Maybe you've got like celery or something you're trying to use up in the fridge, you can throw it in this recipe. And that's what great, is great about chilies and also crock pot recipes, because of course we just kind of throw everything in and, and, and set it, it and let it go. And it smells good too. <laughs> and you were saying you like to use your crock pot because you'll also be able to then freeze something like yeah, this. Yeah, so this is a fantastic recipe to freeze. I'm a single person, I still use a big crock pot like this because I can make it on Sunday and then I've got meals for the whole week. There you go, so there's your meal prep as well as, and I'm always telling you guys, recipe swap out, so you put in what you like and you leave out what you don't, no problem. So what are we gonna uh, put in first here? So first we're gonna put in the ground uh, turkey. Okay. So that's one pound, like I said. Get that in there. Get our paper out of. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and? And then we've got one uh, cup of broth. You can use chicken broth, you can use veggie broth. Um, onions and garlic, folks, you know there's like no broth out there. The only one I found is Trader Joe's. So their chicken broth has no onions or garlic in there. So okay. that's what I use. There you go. Yes, we've got the Rotel going in there. Uh, and I like that because it's got your tomatoes and your green chilies. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's all set. And again, you can do mild or moderate there. We've got. Uh, one large sweet potato or two smaller ones in there. We've got the one red bell pepper that I like to put in there. And then I do a package of mushrooms. Sliced baby bellas, Sli right? Uh, sliced, yes. And you could really use any kind of mushrooms in there. And this is a great time of year for mushrooms. Yes, I love putting mushrooms in everything. But again, if you don't like mushrooms, easy to take it out. <laughs> and a can of corn which is always great with a with a nice chili taste in mm -hmm. there. Okay, and then I've got one... Our seasoning. Yes, our seasoning. So one teaspoon of the chili powder in there. Again, you can use up to two. Uh, this is two teaspoons of paprika. I use the smoked paprika. I love smoked paprika. I cannot get enough of this stuff. It's wonderful. But then again, if you've got regular paprika, that works fine too. Uh, the cumin, two teaspoons. Again, that gives you the onion and garlic fil uh, flavor without the onion and garlic. Uh, two teaspoons of oregano really makes a great difference in there. And then two teaspoons of the Himalayan pink salt. Okay. Now, do you give this a quick stir before you set everything on, or you just pour I it in? I actually just let it go. Let it go, okay. Because you were going to break up the ground turkey in probably a couple hours or so, and that's when I kind of mix it all up. All right, so there we go. So we just put the lid on. Now, you normally do this for, what, a low, you said, right? I do, um, well, I usually go high for four hours, but you can also do it low for eight hours as well. Very cool. All right, so we are going to get this set up and let it get cooking. 
The chili's been cooking for a couple of hours. We broke it all up. It looks delicious. It smells amazing in here, by the way. And once again, so this chili is gluten-free and dairy-free, and that is, for the most part, how you live your it's life. how I eat. Yes. Yeah, how you eat. Can you just explain a little bit to folks why sure. you found that to be beneficial for you? Yes, well, like I mentioned, I have chronic migraines. So any kind of chronic pain condition, you want to eat anti-inflammatory. Unfortunately, a lot of those things like gluten and dairy, they can be very inflammatory for your system. So I find if I eat this way, it helps me prevent migraines. Very cool. Very good. So, and, and you know, we know you, you're kind of speaking to a lot of what I've been studying lately, uh, working on being a health coach. You guys know about that if you've been following along. So yeah, absolutely. Gluten, dairy. But what you want to do really is eat that way and then introduce it if you haven't tried again and see if you have a reaction to the food. And that'll help you determine specifically what's going to work out well for you. So this is a great recipe if you want to start off and try eating gluten-free, dairy-free, whatever it's going to be. We are going to dive in. So we've topped this with yes. some avocado uh -huh. and you've got some delicious so tortilla chips. So I've also used um, blue corn tortilla chips. Mm -hmm. And why I use blue corn is because it's actually 20% more protein than regular white uh, corn chips. And um, it also has a lower glycemic index, which is also anti-inflammatory as well. It's a fancy way of saying it's it's better than white chips. It's a little bit better for you. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. This is so good, Grace. This oh, is good. packed with I'm flavor. So I absolutely love it. And this is so. This is how I do it, dairy-free, right? So I do the avocado and the chips. But look, this is a great recipe to make even if you have traditional eaters or it's like Sunday football. You can yeah. put it out. You can put out the sour cream. Uh, the shredded cheese, the things that other people want, and everybody can kind of make it their own. Make it their own, absolutely. And that is what food is all about, of yes. course, absolutely. Grace, I can't thank you enough for coming and sharing this recipe with us. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate your input on food and gluten-free eating and things like that. Guys, you can check her out at gracegold.com, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Yes, Miss Grace Gold. Come find me. and. Good luck with your health coaching. Thank you so amazing. much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for stopping by and sharing this recipe with us. Guys, if you like this recipe, hit that subscribe button. Leave us a comment in the section below. And I'll see you guys next week.